Well, you asked for it, and you finally got it. Hello, everybody. I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin, and welcome to New Life. This is a brand new SMP where we're given six lives to live, and we have got a bunch of different origins to possibly land on. And mine, oh, it's a spicy start. For I am the Chillager. You freeze yourself and your opponents alike. However, being cold finds itself much more beneficial to you than your enemies. So you'll have seen in the teaser that I can do this thing where I become basically a giant popsicle, a giant chunk of ice. Or like a really handsome popsicle, you know what I mean? Like the kind that's like an ice sculpture made from the gods. But basically what that allows me to do is allows me to fall and take zero fall damage. Or in fact, any damage of any kind until the end of this duration when it goes like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, this allows me to heal. But I already know what's going to happen. Eventually, the mobs will be too strong and overwhelm me and I can do nothing but look through the glass moments before my demise. Oh, if I could shiver, I would. It also has a few other little secrets, but we'll discover those throughout the course of this episode. Let me grab myself a waystone. I've already got a bunch of items that I collected en route to this beginning area. I'll be honest with you, I logged into the server late, which meant that I didn't get a TP to spawn. So my eight levels and my inventory currently are all from the journey. And it did come from over that way. So I don't think I want to come from there. So maybe we'll head off in quite literally the opposite direction and make my way out into the world. Oh, here we go. Contestant number one. So you'll see that when I punch a mob, it gets these particle effects around it which slows them very temporarily meaning that i can ensure my getaway or buy myself a window to freeze this is technically called frozen touch when hitting a target they'll have trouble moving for a small moment and where i'm a frosty boy i think i basically want to come across some ice and just basically set up shop there that looks more like sand i think oh my word this is quite the drop but the perfect testing ground for my ability okay don't be the first person to die on the whole server. You ready for this? Go! Freeze mode! Look at that! No fall damage whatsoever. I retain a little bit of momentum and I can jump from great heights like I'm some kind of assassin. And I think maybe for the first time in my life, I've actually read all of the patch notes and figured out what the mods do before beginning a series. Very classic of me to enter a series and have absolutely no idea what anything does. But this time around, I wanted to educate myself. Oh, look, there's a few people online. Joel, Sausage, Scott. We're all knocking about. Do you want to see the slowest axe pull ever? Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is part of my origin. I have this thing towards the bottom which says fine motor skills. Being cold results in a loss of fine motor skills. Good luck trying to attack a target in rapid succession. Your attack speed is lowered. Oh boy. Really what I should be creating right now is a knife because a knife is going to allow me to get a guaranteed drop of at least one leather from every cow that I kill. So let's try and turn this into some flint and I can make one real quick. This is a little trick I learned from Scott from playing bingo. It's so helpful. Here we are. One stick, one flint, and you've got yourself a knife. Oh, the rat in me would be proud. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you see the sort of delay in my ability to be able to crit? I was able to hit successive shots, but not actually land big damage. Now, the other good use for a knife as well is the ability to collect straw. I thought that was going to be a long drop. <laughs> uh, it was the ability to collect straw. And the reason this is so good is because you can use it to create rope. By itself, is really useful for climbing down from large heights. But equally, you can also use it to create something even further, which is the safety net. It negates all fall damage. You bounce up similar to a slime block. And you can even use it to create leads as well. So this is happy days for my farms. Oh, have we got to go to sleep? Okay, hold on. I can make myself a sleeping bag. The sleeping bag is really cool because it allows you to reset the time of day, but without actually setting your spawn point. So if you ever need that whilst you're out and about in the world, we're groovy. Iron, copper, emeralds, it's all going on. And the mystery ore is let me see raw zinc okay uh what's your deal it looks like it's something to do with the create mod so i guess i'll keep a hold of it for now so here we go here's a good example of using the knife to our advantage so if the final blow happens with the knife then it actually ends up guaranteeing that we get feathers each time which will be very useful down the line to my knowledge this only works on animals as opposed to working on mobs which is a shame because guaranteed ender pearl drops would be mwah, magnifique i absolutely did not need to use that for that jump that really wasn't going to hurt me that much, was it? <laughs> Look, I'm nine years old and I got a brand new toy. What do you expect? Ooh, village. Okay, I'm down with that. Oh, what are you? You look ominous and dangerous. And I like those two things. Ah, and I hear mobs. Oh, geez, immediately scared. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll use the village as a, as a checkpoint and then we'll go back. What in the... <laughs> Wait, 
second minute. I didn't think you guys made it into the game. Has somebody modded it in the copper golem? Hello, little fella. Oh, yeah. Hello to you as well. Yeah, this is blowing my mind a little bit. <laughs> as much as I said I read up on all the mods, this is one that must have just gotten past me. I wonder how many more of the mob vote ones are in here. Aha. Now, these are some of the items that I had on my to-do list. I kind of want to make my own rather than ruining anything going on here. But this cutting block here is a beast. Like, just look at some of the stuff this thing can do. It can break down so many different items into their materials again. If you want to reverse engineer things, you can strip bark from the trees. Oh, I'll tell you what. I don't mind taking it. Oh, no, that is my shield. Uh excuse me <laughs> give me my shield back thank you uh let me take this knife there you go cheeky upgrade oh a waystone oh this is good so it means i can just teleport here whenever i feel like it sweet there you go oh so you got spawn and then this place is called Go gozikaku <laughs> what have you got oh sorry i, I, I gozikaku <laughs> that's, that's what i got i gozikaku pretty sure kaku means poop doesn't it or it's a fellow with a really long nose <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic what a guardsman no one's gonna come messing with this town with him on the loose oh my word i'm sorry bioshock hello what are you an oceanographer well that's modern as anything i don't think i want to trade with you for now until i know what kind of things i can get from you i still need to try and find myself some more iron oh 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 wait 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 Oh, no. <laughs> i've panic frozen in excitement <laughs> look ice i see it oh my god yes and it's not even that far from a village this is perfect now i can't throw myself off of here because i just froze up a moment ago oh my god look at it it's beautiful look at this place oh you can really hear the winter winds as you get up here you feel like you're at the wall i'm gonna now spend the entire rest of the let's play speaking exactly like this people can come here and swear the oath Oh, you can't even eat when I'm in my frozen state either. See, these are all the little tips and tricks that I need to learn for myself. Oh, it goes even further. Oh, there's even snow over that way as well. Ooh. I kind of like this. I kind of like that this is just a dollop. <laughs> because honestly, I feel like I'm a bit of a dollop. I think I'm just a random dollop added onto this SMP. Not really much of a clue what's going on. I like it. I think I can live here. Oh my word. Is that another village? They're everywhere and they, they look really cool as well. Oh, that there I'm very interested in. That is a special kind of compost, which eventually once it turns into soil becomes rich soil, which means that all of your farming efforts are just so much quicker. Oh, there's a jungle not far from here. This is all really good information for me to know. Oh my God, there's nether warts right here. Well, that was fast. Oh, there's lots of stuff to be had. Okay. Well, before we do any of that, I am desperately going to need a little bit more wool so I can make a backpack to even be able to carry all of these spoils. Wait, maybe somebody has been here. You reckon there was a diamond in there before and someone snagged it? Oh my God. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, problem solved. This is what I grabbed all the wheat for earlier. So one, two, three, four. Lovely. And then we use all of that to then make the backpack with a chest. So give myself a bunch of wood, pop all of those together and backpack number one is made. But... It currently can't hold anything. It needs to be attached to a frame. And for that, we need a special kind of bench, which is called the pack bench. And then now we're going to need some kind of frame. This is the one piece that I don't know how to make currently. So let's see what we need. Oh, we just need string. Two string, four wood, and three ladders. Easy. And just like that, we've got that. And then we put them together. And I'm going to hope that this is a backpack. Right click. Aha! Lovely. Oh, wait. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Another second. Is this how you make them? Can you break this thing off? Oh, it did! <laughs> I assume that's what it was trying to do. It was trying to teach you how to make the little copper golem. Well, that's wonderful. I have no use for you right now, but I'm sure in the future I might do. Is that the new one parents are doing nowadays? If you look at the TV too long, you'll get square eyes. If you lay out in the sun too long, you'll get flat bod. So that's where my butt went to all those years ago. I really, really want to do another big drop. It's going to become a real bad habit of mine, isn't it? Wanting to do this drop constantly. But I do need a few more string to make another backpack. So here we go! Oh, there we are. Man, I tell you what, the redstone really glows in this, doesn't it? Look how cool that looks. What in... Oh, whoa, hold on a minute. You are not a typical kind of creeper. The... Oh, I'm worried because I don't know what your blast radius is. And what else did you just drop then? Did you drop iron? Oh, you are kidding. Have I found that already? It's episode one. Have I found the deep dark? 
Well, let's get the achievement just to see if we get any reactions in the chat. <laughs> it's not quite my usual episode one of creeping into the nether with a speedrun portal, but this will do. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you. This looks really cool. Oh, no. It's the mobs that are going to do it, isn't it? There you go. Oh, boy. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. This is not what I envisaged when I came in here looking for some simple string. Oh, my word. What's this infection? What is that? Hold on. Let me, let me stand over here real quick. What are you, buddy? Azurin. What does Azurin do? Is this just another pretty stone? Ooh. This looks fit for a snowy king. I am taking all of this. This is what I made the backpack for. A long pain in the Azurin later. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. <laughs> can't take it anymore this there's no end to it which is fantastic but at the same time how many stacks have i got i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve stacks i'll come back I'll, i promise i'll come back and get the rest of it i don't think it's even gonna look that nice as like the majority of a building anyway if it'll be like a topper you know what i mean and honestly Maybe this calcite would work well. What do you reckon? Calcite walls and then what's this thing called again? I've been mining it for so long, I've already forgotten its name. I'm a worse first date. Azurin, there you go. That could be a cute combo. And also, it means that my base isn't going to melt anytime somebody puts a torch down in it. So there's a bonus. So I tell you what, I'm going to leave a waterfall over here just so I can get back here a lot quicker next time. If I maybe just pop it there. But I do now have the problem that I don't have any more water on me, but... That is easily solved because my secondary ability is this. Ha ha! I can spawn a platform that drops ice onto an enemy. I don't think it does much damage. I think it's more just to be annoying. Tiny target. Big blocks. But, oh, it does actually kill chickens in one shot. Okay. That's good to know. What about the pig? Oh my god, it can do pigs as well. But on occasion, it will do that. And it will actually allow you to break a piece of ice so I can get some water no matter where I am very handy there's my dollop look at it <laughs> i love it so much now where should i situate myself for now is there a little like opening in the side of it all maybe i can have a tiny little hollow hole of a home to begin with oh yeah look this looks like it's already de designated to be different rooms and i tell you what just for good measure let's go ahead and place down my waystone to really solidify that this is where i'm gonna live bam right there this one is called Pupu Nako. <laughs> what? What's with all these names? You got Pupu, you got Kaku. Why do they all just sound like they've come out my butt? Oh my. Whoa, what's that? Where did you come from? <laughs> oh my god. This is the best place ever. Oh, oh no, wait. Hold on. I keep going. Why do I've got levitation? <laughs> Why am I still going up? When does it stop? It, it it looks as though it's infinite. Hello? <laughs> How do I get back down to Earth? If I move off that block, does it suddenly kick in? Oh, no. I'm flying infinitely, and I don't know why. Um, I need help. I'm currently at... <laughs> why? <laughs> 11.50. Oh, jeez. Of course this would happen to me. The one fun thing on my dollop, and this happens. Oh, my God. Is it over? There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I didn't have to clear it. Oh, there. no, oh. Scott, I'm going again. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. Please, Scott, clear my effects. Can you hear me? Oh, my God. Okay. okay. So, no, what, the, the weird thing is you don't have any effects. The game doesn't think you have any effects. Oh, no. So, I can't clear anything. What kind of weird balloon origin have you tried to enforce on me? You're, to be fair, there is a balloon origin, but that's not what it says. Oh. So if you jump, what happens? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, that. <laughs> okay, that. try relog. Try log out. I think. Oh, there I'm we okay. go. There we are. Okay. So yeah, yeah stay, I, stay away from the geyser, I guess. What? Where's the geyser? Uh, well, this is the. Oh, here it is. Look, this fella. So it just gave you levitation? So yeah, so I was stood on him and I was floating upwards. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped coming back down. <laughs> well, I didn't expect this to be the way we would meet, but hi. Oh no, hi. So um, what, wait, what even are you actually? I can't even tell at a glance. Okay, so I'm a transporter. So I can right. teleport things. So like I can like... <gasps> oh! Oh, that's cool. And then I can also do this. What did you just do to me? <laughs> You'll find out in a second. No, don't don't say it like that. Oh, okay, that's fine. 
I don't mind a bit of swapping. I thought, honestly, when you started saying you were a transporter, I thought me having infinite levy was a, a gag you've just pulled on oh, me. Oh, no, I can you imagine? That was me the whole time. <laughs> just that um, prank. And then the other thing I can do is if you stay where you are, uh -huh. and then we do this. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's cool. Welcome to my house. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, so you have set a waystone. Oh, do I actually have to check in with them? To yeah, use you have them? to right-click them. Oh, but... I see. Oh, you do take four damage, though. No, so I, I get in vulnerability for a few seconds. Ah, oh, um, I see. Because it's just 20 blocks in the direction I'm looking, so there is the chance that I just end up underground. But I also get a chance... Ow. <laughs> You've given me freezing. This thing is a Wait, it gives you pain. freezing as well? It's like a bar that's going down. It's like I'm getting free Now I'm taking damage. <gasps> I didn't know that. I just thought it dropped a few ice blocks and did some damage. Oh my god, I'm even stronger than I first thought. It is very strong, by the way. Well, I saw it killed like some chickens and I was like, oh, that's a funny bit. You're flooding my area. No, thanks. no. Oh god. Oh no. Sorry, I'm <laughs> new to these powers. I, I don't know what I'm I doing. I forcefully bring you to my house and you ruin it. <laughs> Sorry. No, the one thing to also be aware, like that did like seven hearts of damage. So depending <gasps> on who you do it to, origin wise, you will kill them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't have any, like, I have the full amount of hearts, but if you do that to someone who has less... Oh my god. They Seven will hearts. die. Are you unarmored, or...? No, I have, like, chain mail. I've got to be really careful with my ability, then. I can use it on mobs, but not on not on people, because... Yeah. Yeah, that's not going to end well. Right, well, I'll tell you what. I've got, a, I guess, like, a base to build. Thank you for saving yep. me slash testing welcome. with me. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll so, see you uh, That's good to know. I could have accidentally killed somebody had I used my ability on them. I'm a very strong boy. <laughs> I never even knew it. And I think that'll do for this. I just wanted to have like something built here. So if someone uses this waystone, it doesn't look like it's a mistake. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Run, run, run. <laughs> I, just, I don't have much, so please don't destroy what I have. What even are you? You're like a, a, a vibing yeti creeper. What do you do? Does he does he even explode? Hold on. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> Is that what you do? Do you just headbutt people all the time? Oh, that's amazing. I am gonna put you in there and I'm totally just gonna save you. One boat, please. And there you are, sir. Sweet little boy, do not touch or else. And because there's an ungodly amount of moo blooms or whatever these weird flower cows are called, I've just made this little pen over here as well. And I don't know what to tell you, but they just won't stop spawning. But I'm not actually that mad about it. I kind of want to get name tags and name every single one of them Colin so we can build a colony. <laughs> as for what I'm going to do up here, I've absolutely no idea. So if you've got any ideas on shapes, styles, colors, all that sort of stuff for a base, then let me know in the comment section below. Have a wonderful week and I'm going to go chill out.